Hi everyone, welcome to Liam's Tech. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can delete emails from all users' mailbox in Office 365. So a reason why you may want to do this is either a confidential email has gone out to the wrong person or you've accidentally hit reply all with some confidential information. Maybe somebody's um, managed to slip through your filtering system and sent like a phishing email and you want to remove it from all your staff before they click on it and fall for it. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can do this and how you can delete the emails from their mailboxes in bulk. So to begin, there's a few prerequisites that you need. So you must, your admin account must be part of the following four groups um, in Exchange. So you need to be part of the Compliance Management Group, Discovery Management, Organization Management, and Recipient Management. So to do that, you can go to the Admin, Exchange Admin Center. Now this is the new Exchange Admin Center. Um, so you, yours might be slightly different, but I'm working on the latest release. So if you go to roles, admin roles, and then you can see we've got compliance management, we've got discovery management, um, organization management and recipient management. So they're all in here, organization, recipient. So to add yourself, what you need to do is click into it, click on assigned, and add yourself or whoever you want to be able to have this feature. Um, when I did it about three years ago, it did take about 24 hours to actually propagate across. I'm not sure if that's the, still the same, but it could take up to 24 hours before you actually have these permissions on your account. So once we've done that, you can head on to the next one and we're gonna create a new compliance search. So this is gonna be the search where we actually search for the email that you want to delete. So say you've got, for example, a top secret email that you've sent out to the wrong person or to a group of people or maybe all of your entire organization and you want to delete that email. So for this example, I've just created a very simple top secret email that I've sent to a test account. Um, I want to delete this. This could contain confidential information. I don't want people to see it. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete this email. So to go back. You want to go to the Compliance Center in Microsoft 365, like so. And again, this is a preview mode of the latest version. So depending on when you're watching this video, it could look like this. Yours might be older, um, but it is the latest version. So now we want to go down to eDiscovery and Core. So once we're on core, we're going to create a new case. So we're going to create the case. It could be anything. So we'll just call it test. So test to remove. Save. Oh, apparently I've already done that one. So within here now, you want to go in. And now we're going to create a new search so this is the actual search where we're going to find the email that we want to delete across our organization so if we go back go to searches new search give it a name now you'll need to remember this name because you're going to be using this in powershell later so we can call it um remove secret or something whatever you want as long as you remember what it is next here is where you want to search so because it's an email we're going to be searching just exchange mailboxes but you can search everywhere like sharepoint sites team sites etc but we're not going to do that so we're going to click exchange mailboxes by default it's set to everyone so if you've sent it or you're not sure where the email has gone to you can set all and that'll search your entire organization and search every single mailbox on your tenant and um, for this that'll take too long for me so i'm just going to drill it down you can actually choose who you want to search so it could be staff it could be students could be whoever so i'm just gonna use the test account so 
search for the mailbox. So now all it's going to do is search that one person's mailbox. So I'll click next. This is where you refine your search. So what we're going to do, the search that I've got on here, you can see the subject is top secret and it's from me. So we already know that if you know the content of the email, if you know what it, you could drill it down. So I'm going to delete the keywords. I'm going to add a condition and I'm going to go to subject equals any of or contains all of top secret because that's what the subject of the email is. You can drill this down further to narrow it down to your tests, but this is what I'm doing for the test. So click submit. Now what this is going to do is going to create a new search, but it could take up to five minutes, ten minutes, depending on how long and um, how big your organization is and how many mailboxes you have. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you on one that I created earlier, because when you click into this now, it's still starting the search. So it could take up to five minutes to complete. So I'm going to go back to my discovery, do one that I did myself earlier, which is exactly the same, so I'll play exactly the same. Then under here, under searches, you can go down and review sample. So this will show you all the emails that it's found due to them searches. So if there's any in here that you don't want, you can refine your search to make sure you're not deleting any emails that you shouldn't be doing. So as you can see, this one, it's found the email that I've sent to my test account. So we're all good with that. It's going to mean it's going to delete that one. If there was more, if it had sent it to 10 different accounts and I chose 10 accounts, it'd show 10 versions of it in each mailbox. So you know where it's going to remove it from. So now we've got that. You want to go back and then the next step is to use the PowerShell script, which will be in the description, which I've got open. And you want to change the search name to whatever you've just created. So on mine, it's secret email. Whatever you decided to put in, you will put that in here. So we're going to put secret email and we're going to run. You will have to type in your Office 365 credentials to connect to Exchange Online via PowerShell. And it should run down. It should create the session, import the session, and then connect. So now you're going to get confirmation saying, look, it's going to delete that. It's going to delete it if you if you run this. Is that right? Etc. So I'll open up this email just so we can see what happens when we run it. So yep, yeah, I'm going to delete it, and then it should run in the background. And eventually, that email once it gets to it, it will delete itself. And it's gone. And it's literally that simple. Obviously, the bigger your mailboxes are, the more the more people you search. How many are you deleting? It will take a lot longer than that. But that's how you can. Do